For decades, Bang & and users has had the option to control lights directly from their TV remote. And that is exactly what I want to replicate here. In this video, I will show you how to set up light control with your Bear Remote 1 using the Bang & Olsen integration for Home Assistant. Please note that this video is not an installation guide for Home Assistant or the Bang & Olsen integration. Instead, I would like to focus on what is possible to do with these. For this tutorial, you'll need a Home Assistant instance installed in your home, the Bang & Olsen integration installed in Home Assistant, a compatible connected speaker from Bang & Olsen with a Bill Remote 1 Bluetooth connected to it, and a smart light to control with the remote. First of all, I'll add the speaker to my Home Assistant setup. Go to Settings, Devices and Services, as you can see here, my Biosound A5 is auto-discovered, and I can click Configure. Alternatively, you can click Add Integration, search for Bang & Olsen, and enter the IP address manually. But to make it easy, I'll select the A5 right here. Press Submit. And now the speaker has been added. Next, we need an automation that uses the light commands as triggers which then adjust the lights we want to control. But to make it as easy as possible, I've actually created a blueprint for it. A blueprint in Home Assistant is a predefined automation where the user only has to change a few parameters. To import the blueprint, I've created a special link which you can find in the description below. Open the link and enter the IP address of your Home Assistant instance. Press Update and press Open Link. Now click the preview button and import blueprint. Now that the blueprint is imported, all we need to do is to click create automation right next to the new blueprint. In the automation editor, first select your Bang & Olsen product from the drop down menu. I will select my A5. Next, choose the lights that you want to control using Bill Mode 1. I'll choose my living room in this example. Press save and name the automation, like so. And that is basically all you need. Now I can try to press list, select light and press the center button. The lights should now turn on. If you press zero of the pause button, the lights will turn off. The digits from one to nine will adjust the brightness. One is low brightness and nine is high. And lastly, you can fine tune the brightness using the arrow up and down keys. That's all for today. I hope this was useful for you and I will be back with more tips at a later point. See you.